it's important in our day and age um, not only to cultivate mindfulness and presence, but it is important to have a spirit of adventure because when we develop curiosity and we become curious enough about the institutions we live with and about the systems that rule our society, uh, then we can start to really um, bring them into question and, and, and having a, a, a rebellious spirit, having this spirit of a, of a revolutionary, because we need to be revolutionaries in life now. Uh, the reason is this, there are so many um, social structures that are impeding us from developing our true human uh, capacities. And it is important for us to realize what feels, what feels that is more in harmony with what I truly am as a creator. Are these things satisfying my life? Are they enough for me now? Or is there something other that is more in tune with who I really feel that I am? More in tune with the, um, with the idea of universal love, with um, the reality of community, with the expression of compassion, what is in harmony with those? And what is, what is breaking us apart as a human race? What is in the way? What are old things that we need to get rid of? What is the new that we need to move towards? That is, of course, in alignment with, with nature and beauty and harmony. So all of these questions, it's important to find out what is in the way and what we need to move towards. And it is important to get rid of them if they are in the way. And it is important to move forward and to go beyond into the unknown and explore, explore what we haven't lived yet as a human race. That's where we need to go. What don't we know yet that we can become that is different and new and more in tune with who we truly are, that's where I want to go. That's where we all want to go. <laughs> so that's what we need to be asking ourselves now.